Now at 6, an ABC Action News exclusive. Burglars targeting Bay Area strawberry fields. Tonight, these four face charges after investigators say they stole from cars all as migrants worked in the fields. ABC Action News reporter Isabel Rosales is uncovering the crime trend, sounding the alarms for strawberry pickers. These court documents obtained by ABC Action News shows that there were at least 32 burglary victims here in the last two months. We're learning that while migrants were busy at work out in the fields, these alleged burglars were inside their cars stealing valuables. The news, hard to stomach for strawberry pickers. Their hard-earned money at risk. That work you see, Picking strawberries is backbreaking work, and they do it day after day to help their families. Jose Butron oversees this crew of pickers. They're here on work visas. Just last month, his boss alerted him someone was breaking into cars and robbing migrants, all as they worked the fields. That hurts. It really hurts because they work from sunrise to sunset. These court documents show suspects kept entering unlocked work buses, stealing cash, phones, and credit cards. These four caught and charged. It's shameful that people would take advantage of anyone in this community. Sheriff Chad Cronister calls it a crime of opportunity. When you see a bus, the windows are down, the doors are unlocked, there's no one around the bus, they're all out in the field working. It's almost like an instant payday. He says it's encouraging the 32 victims came forward. He points to HCSO's campaigning, letting Latinos know a victim is a victim, no matter the immigration status. Butron says... He since added this lock to their bus. It's upsetting because who knows what these victims needed the money for, if they needed it in Mexico for medicine, diapers. As an added security measure, his employer pays these workers on debit cards, not cash. And the good news here from HCSO is they don't believe there's any other victims associated with this case, but they do hope that should this happen again, no one will fear calling 911. In Plant City, I'm Isabel Rosales, ABC Action News.